Hello and welcome back. This time we are talking about hydraulic fluids, eh? liquids which we can use for hydraulic. Eh? I have made some experiments to show you what we are talking about. Eh? So this here is one experiment. Eh? Have a look. These two liquids, they are the same. Okay? They are exactly, they are exactly the same stuff I filled in. Eh? And now look what is happening if I try to shake them. You see? This one seems to be rather liquid. This one, ooh, really sticky. Eh? Re doesn't move at all, it seems. Eh? Look at that, how, how high viscose those thing is. Eh? This in comparison. Mm -hmm. This is more like a liquid. Huh? This is low viscose. Huh? What is the difference between those two things? Hmm? What is the difference? Well, the blue one is cold. Huh? And that's as planned and not lucky at all. That blue one is cold and the yellow one is a warm liquid. Huh? The liquid, by the way, this is honey. Yeah, so this is warm honey, this is cold honey. Everybody knows this effect. So there is an effect on the viscosity on temperatures. Yeah. We're going to talk about this. Yeah. And I've also made an experiment with some special uh, uh, liquid yeah, where we can exactly see that not only uh, temperature has influence on the viscosity, but also pressure. Yeah? This special liquid I mixed up there is some mixture between between potato flour yeah? and water. Yeah? This is a non-Newton fluid, and you can see if I gently pull in the fork, it seems like a liquid. Yeah? And then if I really hit the surface very fast and very strict, so that there is a lot, quite a lot of shock inside the, the liquid, then it is getting harder. It's high viscosity then. Okay? So also the pressure, huh? and this time it's just the shock waves, but also the pressure has influence on the viscosity. By the way, this type of liquids, this non-Newton fluids, huh? Also ketchup is something like this. So if you're struggling getting ketchup out of the glass bottle and you hit the bottom, then you just make the ketchup go stiff. <laughs> That's actually the reason. And if you gently wait until it's coming out, it will flow. Ketchup, non-Newton fluid. So let's switch. Let's switch to hydraulics. Why? Are these effects here also influencing our hydraulic system? So, hydraulic fluids. Huh? What do we want from them? Let's, let's make a wish list. Let's make a wish list what we want from a hydraulic fluid. Huh? The uttermost thing we want, huh? that the core element is to transfer pressure. So, pressure transfer. Pressure. Transfer. This I want from hydraulic fluid. Then it shall lubricate also my parts. There are moving parts usually inside a hydraulic. It shall lubricate them. Lubricate. Lubricate. Lubricate the parts. Then, of course, it should also cool them. It should be able to get away the heat. Not only from throttle points, but just from the system. Cool. Cooling. Uh, the liquid should cool. Yeah? Then, if they are usually they are switching elements inside the hydraulic. Yeah? So usually we are switching and we also heard about cavitation and we have pressure peaks. Yeah? Those pressure peaks should not propagate through all the system everywhere. Yeah? They should be damped. 
Yeah, so it shall damp pressure piece. You see already, we're in a bit of a pickle again. Pre should pressure transfer should be suddenly. Yeah. However, pressure peaks still be damped. <laughs> Does not fit together. Yeah? Then we want to have uh, we want to have them uh, the corrosion. Yeah? So it shall not it shall protect from corrosion. Corrosion protection. Yeah? Corrosion protection. Yeah, basically, that's it. Uh, well, then there are additional things like, you know, some things get r rubbed off. Yeah, so we want to to uh, get clean. This should be clean. So it's a cleaning, cleaning of some rub which might be somewhere yeah? and also it shall be able to transfer signals in small lines not the power lines but signal lines yeah? to switch some uh, valve somewhere yeah? transfer signals that's basically the tasks yeah? so what <sighs> what Features, huh? what probability, uh, probabilities, what what uh, na eigenschaften, what features shall a uh, fluid have? Yeah? Of course, if we want to have pressure transfer and we also want to move it, yeah, the density shall be low. Yeah? The lighter the liquid, the easier it can accelerate it, deaccelerate it. Okay, so this is one thing we want from the liquid load low density and the liquid shall also be we should not be able to compress it too much we said liquids are not compressible however that's not entirely true we can always squeeze them a little bit depending on the liquid and the amount of gas which is in uh, which is dissolved in it Okay, so low compressibility, low pressability, ability hmm. should work. Yeah? This is just because this pressure transfer should be good. Huh? Low density, low compressibility. Yeah? Then the viscosity. Yeah? We have seen the viscosity shall not be too low. Yeah? Why? Because if you've seen in this experiment before, yeah, the warm liquid is the, the, the film which is left after it left yeah, is very thin yeah, and can be broken easily. And so if this is a lubrication film, this film should stay on. There a high viscosity is helping. Yeah? I get the cold version here. And this high viscosity will stay longer at the surface and protect it. Yeah? Viscosity shall not be too long. However, uh, the viscosity temperature difference yeah, shall be good. Yeah? There, so there shall be no change in viscosity because of temperature. Yeah? No change of viscosity. Viscosity because temperature and pressure. Those two effects I've shown you at the beginning of this video yeah? that the temperature has influenced, the pressure has influenced, these are bad things usually for hydraulic. I want that the hydraulic is working at minus 10 degree exactly the same as it's working at 50 degree. Yeah? So somewhere in Norway at minus 40 degree, 
in winter time, it shall produce the same results like somewhere, I don't know, sub-Sahara yeah, at 40-50 degree. Yeah. We can make a... Basically, you see already, if you're looking at this honey, well, honey is not exactly hydraulic fluid, but uh, it's more a wish list. Yeah. But we will put them together and see where we leading to. Yeah? It should age well. Yeah? It should not be. It should not get old. Yeah? It should get. It should age and shall not change its 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 properties. Properties. Now there it is. The word. Tick tick. Eigenschaften. Yeah? It should age well or age resistant. Resistant. Should not age at all. That would be nice. Uh, it should not. It should not be flammable. Eh? Not flammable. If there is some air fire, it should not just be more dangerous than ever. Eh? Uh, well, that that there should be. The materials used inside, yeah, the the, the ceilings and so on, yeah, uh, this should be compatible with this, yeah. So it should not not aggressive, not aggressive to materials. Okay. Then we said there are dissolved gases inside, yeah. So this gases and air and so on, this should be separated very well. Good air separation, yeah, good air separation. Without foam, of course, no foam, no, no, it shall stay a liquid, yeah. Without foam, yeah, it shall stay a liquid if it's cold, so it's a resistance to to freezing. Resistant to freezing. Should not get dissolved just because, or or should not get fall into parts just because it's getting cold. Uh, of course, there is also uh, wear protection, yeah? lubrication, wear protection, and also corrosion protection. Yeah? Wear corrosion protection shell offer, yeah? and of course, usually a, a big thing for corrosion is water. Yeah, so also the water separation should be good. Yeah? Water separation. Shall be good. This is my wish list. This is my wish list to hydraulic fluids. Cannot be met. Can just be close to. Can just be close to, but only in one field of application. So also the used hydraulic fluid is depending on the application. So there are different types of, of hydraulic oils out there. Yeah? And there are different types, there are different names. Yeah? And one way of naming them is according to the standard DIN yeah? uh, 51524 and 51525. Yeah? There are several, there is standard hydraulic oil. Hmm? The standard hydraulic oil have some features. And then there are some uh, additional things which I can add to this oil, additives, okay? And according to these additives, I would change the properties of the oil a little bit, yeah? Then there are so-called HL oils, yeah? these HL, HL oils, there are the corrosion protection is increased and also it's aging, aging is better better aging. 
Hochleistungsöl, HL oils. Then there is this HLP oils. There is also the wear protection. Increased. It's pretty much the same HL oil. HLP is additionally adding wear protection a little bit. And there are the HV oils. This is pretty much the same as the HLP oil, yeah? but additionally also the temperature viscosity. Is better. Yeah? This, 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 this dependency is better. Yeah? And then there are HF oils, yeah? which are non-flammable yeah? or, or hard. Hard flammable. Schwer entflammbare Hydraulikflüssigkeiten. There are also different types. There are A types. This is uh, more oil, more oil, more water, less oil. So we have around here, uh, I don't know, 90% water. Yeah, the rest is oil. Then we have the B. This is more oil inside. So here we have only around 50% water. Yeah. Then there are things which the sea oils, the sea liquids, liquids, yeah, the sea liquids are without oil at all. This is some some water-based solutions. Yeah. And there are the D oils yeah, or the D liquids which are waterless. Yeah. They're only 0.1% water or something like this. Yeah. So this is the categorization of oils. Yeah. Standard oil, HL oil, HLP oil, HF oil, and then there are non-flammable oils or hardly flammable oils, HF oils, HFA, HFB, HFC, HFD. The most important thing, the most important parameter of hydraulic liquid is the viscosity. Okay. The viscosity shall not be too low okay, because then the lubrication film is destroyed. I've mentioned this before. However, the viscosity shall not be too high also. If I look at this yeah, and I imagine what it would take to press this through a pipe, quite a lot of effort. Yeah. Also, the viscosity has influence on the laminar turbulence situation and high viscous liquids, more turbulence. Okay. So there are also things how we can divide or how we can select viscosity. Yeah? The standard thing is oil. Standard thing used is oil because it simply matches the needs of our hydraulic system, our wish list, best. However, oils are, depending on the temperature and the pressure, the viscosity of the oil is depending. And you can buy a wide variance of viscosity types of oil. There are viscosity classes. According to according, uh, DIN, 51, 517, yeah, there are viscosity classes. They are pretty much the kinematic viscosity nu. Yeah. So if somewhere is written, it's the viscosity, viscosity class VG10, yeah, it's basically uh, 9 to 11 nu in square millimeters by second. Okay? So this is basically the kinematic viscosity yeah? in square millimeters per second with a little tolerance window, plus minus 10%. Yeah? According, so this VG32 would then be plus minus 10%, 28.8 yeah? to 35.2 yeah? viscosity. Or VG100 yeah? would be 90 to 110. So these are the viscosity classes. 
Maybe you know from, I don't know, if you are interested in, in combustion engines and so on, there are also lubrication, there are also oils inside, there are also the side glasses. Uh, side glass. 5W40, uh, something like this. Uh, so, side glass 30 is usually something around one, uh, the VG glass, the viscosity group is around 100. Uh, these oils are usually used for for indoors. Indoors temperature. Temperature regulated. So somewhere indoors where it's, it's it's not too hot and not too cold, this is the viscosity glass. Yeah. Then we're going down at 20, yeah, then we are somewhere at 68, then we are at 10, we are at some something 46. So this is usually at, at normal temperature, room temperature. Yeah. Alright. Normal temperatures. Yeah. And then there's the side glass 5. This would be 32. And then there is a it's over again with the side glasses. So, however, in 22 or 15, we have a mobile hydraulics. They are pretty, pretty fluid to things, yeah. Because in winter time it's cold outside and so on. So it they need they need to be fluid also below freezing, yeah. And this 15, this would then be cold areas. So these are the usages, usages, usages of viscosity glasses. In this area we are, we are moving. Yeah? So this is the ideal area we have from 100 to 15. In this area our viscosity, kinematic viscosity shall be. Yeah? The lowest, the lowest border I would say yeah? for Viscosity would be 10. Yeah? And the highest border, where it's really getting stiff and it really it's high temperature hydraulics 10 and so on, yeah? then we are around 750. Okay? So these are these are the limits. However, yeah, these are very like I said this is the ideal area. Yeah? Usually, even if it's not that good for for wear protection and lubrication, usually we use uh, smaller numbers of viscosity just to get the energy, not to waste energy in the pipes, to get the energy there and not distribute them in the pipe and heat up. Okay. Like I said, this viscosity is changing with temperature and is changing with pressure. There are the temperature dependency, this can be done with the viscosity index. Yeah? So there is something called viscosity index. Viscosity index. If this vis viscosity index is high, yeah? big, this means low change due temperature. The bigger the viscosity index of a fluid of oil is, the lower the change to temperature. Yeah. Viscosity index big means these are then uh, Mehrbereichsöle, multi-grade oils. Maybe you've heard of them. Yeah. Mehrbereichsöl. Yeah. Also in the in the car, former you needed a winter oil and the summer oil, and then there come the multi-grade oils, with, which worked low temperatures and high temperatures as well. Yeah. So these big things here, they are multi-grade. Mehrbereichsöle, multi-grade oils, hmm? with big viscosity index. And then there are diagrams available for this, yeah, how the viscosity is changing because of temperature. Yeah? And there are also diagrams available for how the viscosity is changing because of the pressure. Yeah? 
And this is a big topic also in hydraulics, yeah, because uh, the viscosity pressure usually, yeah, in usual things, write down viscosity pressure at this is really getting uh, into account if there are a VFV above 200 bars or something like this, then it's really an can be really annoying. And at 350 to 400 bars, uh, we usually have the viscosity is two times the viscosity at null zero bars. Uh, I all the 32 suddenly is 64. Okay, viscosity pressure dependency. There are also diagrams about this. So mainly it comes to the point to select the right fluid for your application. Like I said, the element of use is usually hydraulic oil because it fits our wishing list here, our wishing list best. Okay? To the best price, let's say. It's rather it's rather easy. However, you know, there's one big point uh, where it's written bop, 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 where corrosion protection is good, not flammable. Oil is not not flammable. Oil is flammable, especially if it's pressurized and maybe there's a small pinch in a hose or something like this and then oil nebula is spraying out. You have a wonderful explosive area there. Yeah? So. And things happen. Yeah? So if there is an area which there are hot things around, yeah. So if if there is welding around or I'm not I don't know, yeah, is metal, metal production, yeah, casting and such uh, such things, yeah. There is heat, yeah, and there then you have to get away from the oils, yeah, you have to go to this HF stuff, yeah? not flammable or hardly flammable oils, yeah? liquids, yeah? then you have to use this type. Yeah? But also main thing is this viscosity thing, yeah? that's it. Next time we are going to talk a little bit more about this hardly flammable stuff. Yeah? What are the benefits and disadvantages? Yeah? So why do, don't use them anyway? Why not? Yeah? Next time we will hear why. Yeah? And why we have to use them? I just told you. Yeah? Because there are areas which but this is important. For this time Thank you very much for listening and goodbye. Um, good honey. Good honey. Honey from a colleague. Great honey. Mr. Berger. Great honey. Thank you. <laughs>